Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4! We are Bulgaria, and we are, we're saddled with a, with a giant, um, giant disadvantage, which is the fact that we are allied to the Soviet Union, um, which can't, I don't know why, the AI cannot play the Soviet Union in Hearts of Iron 4. They absolutely cannot, um, they can't, you know, right now the Soviets aren't holding on to their front with Japan, that's the only thing they have to deal with is Japan, and they can't do anything about it. I think part of it is because they're not really aware about the idea of building up infrastructure, and so everything over here in the East has absolutely, like, they're they're massively, um, oh, I just loaded the save. I need to let it go for, like, a tick here. There we go. Uh, oh, uh, strategic bomber. Sure. Let's run this. Okay. Um, oh, supply mode. Yeah, so you can see they're over, like, they're over their supply cap in every single zone um, where they border Japan. Um, there's technically a little window over here, I suppose. So I think that might be part of why the AI has such a hard time dealing with it. Um, from our, for our side, I mean, we're also only at war with them. Um... I would love to go and start things with Romania. As you can see, I was, I was dabbling with some battle plans over here um, and Ukraine and things. But if we do that, I mean, almost certainly the Brits and the Italians just pour in through us and we just lose. And there's not really nothing we can do about that. I guess with all that being said, I suppose I really have no alternative no, but to attempt to try to help them out in Asia. Even though it's kind of insane. Hmm, yeah, I mean... Okay, we're not at war with the Mongols or the Chinese Empire. I mean, so we can do a big front. That probably doesn't make much sense. Um, we're gonna try to do something like this and a counter push. I mean, we... I, I don't think this is a good idea. But what are we going to do? Uh, we do have some more divisions in training. And that will be good. That is going to consume a bunch of our artillery, though. I think we're okay in the field um, uh, with our kit, but that's about it. If I recall correctly, though, we can go and ask the Soviets for more artillery. So we're going to do that as a, try to, a way to try to inflate that. Um, and if we do happen to get some more factories, it's going to be there. Trade-wise, we're fine here... Okay, everything seems to be okay trade-wise. Uh, we're not going to join in your wars at this time. We're going to abandon this front. If, if the Allies declare war on us, again, we just lose. We just flat-out lose. Um, I did move some of the Cypher stuff around. Yeah, the British Empire, we're going to work on that now. Okay. Could probably just get rid of the Iranian one completely from the list. They're still fighting over here. Like, if we, could, if we could limit where we're attacking, we might be able to pull something off. But That's we can't. Um, like, we're... <clears throat> if we could start against Romania or Ukraine, uh, by itself would be okay. If we could only fight Italy, we'd probably be fine too, although it's a little bit, a little spread out. Actually, if we could only fight against the British Empire, we could probably do okay. The problem is, the front is too big for us to hold everywhere. We just don't have much of a chance. I just saw the Soviet Union font move. It's probably not for good reasons. They're probably losing territory to Japan. I don't know. Maybe they're fine. Maybe they're fine. Hopefully they can hold here. So I'm just moving a few places over there. Uh, Western Balkans. Oh, shit! I forgot to leave some troops over here. Um, that was a mistake. Strategically redeploy to here. I forgot, I, I did the bulk move, um, and I forgot uh, about everyone we needed. Um, it'd be nice if we could hold there real quick. As long as we don't lose, I mean, there's only the one coming in right now, weirdly. Yeah, okay. We're gonna be fine, and then we'll just hold this here. Um, go, go, go. 
before anything else lands. Okay, we're fine. Um, and what I'll do is I'll give you an area defense right over here. Okay. Which, really don't need that many. So maybe what I'll do is I will grab a trio of these, add you to green, and then you'll head off over this way. Okay. So... Our units, they're going to take a long time to get there because of the lack of infrastructure. Well, I mean, they're getting there. I guess it's something. We'll get in position, we'll set up a plan, and we'll go. Although, uh, right, you have no org because of the strategic deployment, which I guess is fine. As I say, well, maybe we can start an attack. We're moving in there. Our, our units are really punchy. Like, maybe we can make all the difference here. I don't know. We're going to try. We have to try something. And really, that, that this is all we've got right now. Did I make this front too big? I, I, oh, actually, it might be a little too big. I'm going to focus a little bit more. Are we... Oh, we are in a war with another one over here. Okay. You know what? Still, still just focus on pushing in in the northern part. I think that's going to be okay. We'll focus on pushing in against the Japanese territory itself. 36 divisions. They're very heavyweight divisions. Um, this might be a good place for us to change and throw in the logistics instead. I thought we were losing some territory here for a second, but no. It's interesting that they're fighting, but... Like, I don't think these guys can move into me. But I don't exactly know what the result of some of this combat is. Uh, submarine production, I mean, none of this really matters too much, but we'll keep developing it anyway. I'm not going to answer your call to arms. We've got to stay... I mean, the AI, like, the real nations would be like, no, no, of course we're going to declare war on you, what is this bullshit? But we're like, no, no, it's it's fine. Um, we'll finish on this, it's going to have to do. I'm not moving any planes over here, but I guess that's going to have to be okay. Alright, units get in position, let's go and hit play. When things are happening. Uh for defending. I was gonna say it'd be nice to attack. There you go. I mean, they went and burned through all that. Let's just move forward. I know oh, you don't have any more. So you just wait. And some of our units aren't gonna want to move forward because of the lack of supply. So we might have to do a lot of like force movement, especially of our back back ranks. Because they probably don't want to move forward because of lack of supply. We might have to do some big right clicks. No uh, let's see. We're not. You're moving there, which is great. You're gonna do it. After you move in, you're gonna move this way. And what you're actually doing is attacking there. Okay, hold for a sec. You'll be able to not assist toy. over here. We are attacking into the mountains there. They do have a lot of divisions. Hmm. That is harder than I expected. All the arms. You're going to keep pushing here. Um, across the river. Well, tanks, depending on how these divisions are actually made. What are we getting? We are piercing. We are low supply. That's going to be a problem. Um, I was going to say, tanks don't have much in the way of defense. There you go. I think the infantry just retreated, and the tanks don't really have the ability to fight. Yeah, see, these guys are holding back because of lack of supply. Um, and I'm just going to have to, at a certain point, just tell them, listen, you have to just go. What I might do actually, just go. And green as well. Just go. So a bunch of these attacks will stop, and then they'll reorganize. But you have to try to move forward. This, like, stalemate situation is never going to be good for us. If we can push up to the lake, cut down south, poop some of the dudes in the south, that'd be okay. Um, I'm going to work on the nuclear bomb tech. I don't know if that's something we can actually do. Can we get an aircraft designer? No, 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 no. Sure. So yeah, I started that war goal in Romania, but I'm like, no, we're just going to lose. If I declare war, we're just going to lose the game. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just put you into a new theater. There you go. 
Um, I mean, you can have a field marshal as well. Uh, but that's political power to do this sort of stuff. So we'll just leave you there. I just want to avoid accidentally right clicking and giving these guys a big move command. Oh, see, now the Soviets are all up in here. Why were they. Why are they moving into the front now? For a long time, they weren't on this front. They're hanging back scattered, but now they're in here. Okay, that gives me a little bit of hope. If the Allies declare war on us now, we actually do have some defense. We actually might be able to boop the Romanians. Hmm. Now I'm like, oh, maybe I should have done that, but it's fine. So we still have tons of troops that are working their way over here. Actually, they should be doing strategic redeployment. There we go. Uh, looks like there are some promotions available as well. Or not, you're just lying to me? Or did I, just because I spent my points. Um, we don't want those. Okay. Oh, we are actually pulling back. Uh, you are going to keep, you're going to push a little further forward. I realize this might be overextending our lines, but that's going to have to be okay. One of you, you're going to do this and then that. How are we not attacking this one? Well, we're paused, that's why. Sure, just, let's just finish this. We'll do something like this. Yeah, it's in so low supply we're not getting our org back. Although I think they might be in low supply too. Yeah, so none, none, of, this, none of these units are resupplying. You're just standing still. Get you to assist in this, please. Something. Actually, go here and then do this. We might be able to just encircle this one. It'd be nice to have faster movement, but I mean, if we had tanks or anything over here, the supply situation would be much, much worse. I'm wondering. I'm going to swap out the signal company for. Oh, do I not have logistics company uncovered as at all? Hang on, we gotta put some work in here. Or, uh, yeah. Yeah, I should have had these guys ready. I think the idea was, well, where we're fighting is gonna be high supply, which was basically true, until we decided we had to save the bacon over here. Right, one of you, you're just holding the line, which is gonna have to be okay. That push is sort of happening. Uh, we push back over there. Maybe I should go and do this because there might be more of my units. They're still going to complain about a lack of supply overall, but. Uh, pushing to me there. You have so little supply. Still, it might be possible. Let's do this. Okay. Fall of Manila. All right, these are things that are happening. So we're still stable over here, luckily. Um, bring some of you down. Let me go and bring that down to just the one. We'll see about getting some of this infrastructure done. Yeah, we can't participate anywhere over here. These are not areas that we ourselves are in war with. It does lead to some weirdness, but... What you gonna do? Alright, well, these guys are still doing, I think, a bunch of strategic redeployment. And then you'll be ready to join in the efforts to move forward. Theoretically, hopefully. Maybe. You're doing that. You're resting for a second, which you have to do. But yeah, without, without the material... Mm. Or without the supply, like, I don't know what we can do. These are our mountains. Actually, let's not line up over here. I don't want to push through these mountains in the least. Off. See, and they're just being attritioned. 
Uh, I don't know how to work, but yeah, okay. Gotovi! These guys are leaving there. Gotovi is a Fit in, that would be okay. Um. Sure, still do this. Go away. I'm not joining any other wars. I can only fight so many of your wars at once, Soviets. You guys are still doing that. And yeah. We're still trying to move forward this way somehow. And you're doing this. I mean, the, the lack of infrastructure, lack of supply, all the movement's going to be really slow. We're going to keep basically just trying to push forward wherever the opportunity presents itself. And hope Nimania. that this leads to something. God, I, sh I can play this on speed 5 and still have enough, like, micro... Okay, to push back back over there. Uh, can we counterattack? These guys may have just been moving on strategic redeployment or something. That may have been why they got busted instantly. Uh, don't do this. Do that. Nimania. That was successful, which is nice to see. Do a little something like this. Move in over there. Um, these are not at full strength. Okay. We might be able to cut off a bunch of supply to these guys. And get them in much more dire straits. Oh, he was killed. Well, that sucks. Halt your movement forward. And you're going to be retreating. Um, but this actually should be able to do something. Half decent, indeed. Which one of these has the most orb? Not much. But I'm betting something like this can happen. The Philippines have capitulated. Yeah, how's the United States doing? Yeah, they're they're basically about to die. And that's going to mean um, all Japan's going to be able to start pushing over here instead. Japan's in their own thing. It'd be great if uh, Japan and the fascist allies decided to go to war with each other. That would be a really good outcome. This is a really bad outcome. But other... Like, I would have changed my, my political moves early on. Okay, now that's interesting. That might be the Allies deciding to come to war with me at this point. Let's do some right-click moves over here with you guys, just to ensure that you keep pushing. I realize you won't have enough supply. Halt. Yeah, there we go. Hold on. Counter-attack. A little shift-clicking of things. Oh, uh, you Allies are going to get I mean, they must be, right? Eastern Siberia, okay, that's fine. And then Transvolcanic Belt over here is also fine. Part of me is like, should I just kept everything over here? I mean, maybe. Currently losing anti-tank. We've got a good amount of storage. Losing motorized, we don't have as much of that. Um, yeah, I mean, just keep going down these branches over here. Unless, hold on. Unless I want to run one of these bad boys. Um, what do I have to do? Oh, I have to X out of this, don't I? Let's do this for the free repair going up. Point bombing. Oh yeah, we had a few of these happening. That's going on there. Um, this is currently fine. All right. You know what? Let's do that. Yes, to a level. You're holding here, which is actually really good. Well, actually, I think we can counterattack here, depending on if we get assistance. Okay, just hold. Unassigned agents. Um. Sign yourself over here. Oh. 
Hmm. Yeah, just do this for now. And just check the policy. No one's read to us over here. No. Uh huh. Did we lose? We must have lost the division here. We had 30. I'm betting they got an overrun because they were out of supply somewhere and someone just basically double us. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything here. Like, I felt like I have to do something, and it felt like declaring on Romania was just going to be a death sentence. I still think that's probably true. But the supply situation here is just absolutely garbage. Alright, these guys are coming through well. Okay, let's do a little something something. I'm gonna front here. Here, here. Um, actually, I don't know if I want to bring any troops in this area. I'm worried that they're just gonna get pinched in here. Do that. Grab these guys. Bring it down to two, put you over there. And then over here, split you in half and do something like this. We'll hold on to a few fronts over here. Um, oh, we can recruit someone. Uh, uh, you know what? I don't care. And you can just do counter espionage for now. Free dockyards. I actually don't know if we're going to do more of that. Um, we are going to try to do this. How's our trade? Oh, yes. It's nowhere near enough. Um... Of Africa. Okay, we'll do that because we don't need to convoy anything. The Soviet Union. We're going to add two more here. And for tungsten, we'll add in. Oh, I was going to say one more. There you go. Thank you. Something like that. So we can keep getting our material relatively quickly. Battle plan is active, but yeah, with no, with everyone's out of fuel. I can't do anything over here. This this entire Asian campaign is going to lead to basically nothing. Yep. Just going to bring everyone back. Okay, you are going to move into here. I'm going to change your color as well to, like, red. Um, I'm going to hold this army into this. Um, I'm going to make a new front like this. And... I don't know where all these troops went. I can grab, like, half of these guys and put them here. Five divisions, we kind of need to that. Uh, six divisions. We need that many? Oh, we got five divisions over here. That's where we're going to split you in half. Put you there. Okay. And we'll sort of give up on this area. Although the... Because the Soviets are there, maybe it'll actually be okay. We'll do this. And then with the heal, your plan is to come here and push the coast this way. And that's it. And I'm going to tell you all to halt and halt. Whatever commands you had, you no longer have it. Just come home. None of this is going to work. If I was running the Soviets, I'd be okay. But we're not. Therefore, we're not. Because knowing, you know, that the war in the East is going to happen, you build up a little more infrastructure, you get different divisions. Uh, we will try to get the divisions with the logistics. Are, are the Brits just invading here? Like, the Soviets are just losing on every single front simultaneously, right? Yeah, they're just losing at every single front simultaneously. They're losing over here. Oh, you know, we're just doomed. Because they're not fighting over here anymore. I mean, we can probably help retake this. I can't. Isn't that the same country? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to come back, join that, and then see what happens, which is probably not much of anything. At least we don't have a supply problem over here. 
I think with all the fighting going on, I think we're still losing um, the infrastructure because the combat is happening, even though we're not at war. It's possible Japan can be bombing me over here. Speaking of which, I want to regroup my planes. I want to make sure... I'm going to get all my planes centered up and working over the Eastern Balkans. We're going to make sure we have air superiority over this zone here. Also prevent enemy bombardment. So our Red Army is just going to try to hold these fronts here. We're going to lose the territory in the north, and that's just the way it's going to have to be. We're going to try to finish off this area. We'll probably have to help out. God, no, they're just going to lose everything. Why are the Soviets so bad? Just do a Soviet campaign out of this, just to get the bitterness out of my mouth. Because this is just crap. I mean, could I have just declared war on Romania right away? I mean, I could have. I think it would have been suicidal, especially since the Soviets didn't actually have, for the longest time, any troops over here. The thing is, these troops are all going to just collapse instantly. There's not enough here. The Allies have too many forces. Yeah, you're fine. You're walking through that territory, which is a little weird, but you're actually fine. I don't think there's any of our troops in combat. Um, we're good on our gear, which is nice to see. Actually, we're short on motorized. Uh, military vehicle, motorized units. So we'll get a hundred anyway. Alright, troops are getting into position. I could do planning, but I don't think we need to do that. I don't even know if we have to wait for everyone to arrive. I don't know, we probably should. I think we are going to have to fi focus a lot on the repairs. Especially once the fighting starts, it's going to be pretty brutal. How's our unrest? It's actually not too tragic. Okay. Got troops over here. If we could push them out of the south, if we take, um, if we take Istanbul and... Oh, yeah, keep going through this way. Um, and then take sort of all the way down to Greece over here. We could clean up our fronts a little bit. We might have some hope. We're going to have to hope the Soviets can delay them a little in the north because we can't have a presence there. We just don't have... We just don't have the numbers. Getting there. Yeah, see, there's actually not that many troops here. I think we'll be able to do okay. Uh, Eastern Germany, Eastern Siberia, that's all good. Uh, it's a little early for the jet bombers. It's basically the end of the year. I'm going to get the night vision started. I'm going to ignore the call to arms a little bit longer. You're going to be ready to go. Planning bonus, um, well, I mean, not everyone is there yet, which is why not everything has a max planning bonus. The stuff that arrived earliest is going to be fine. Look how much the Soviets are just losing here. And it's going to be a similar problem here when the war starts. I think we can't stretch this out because, because it would have to, because of Ukraine. I think once we're in a war against Ukraine, then we can draw this. And if this province here was Romanian, I think we'd be able to draw this front. On the other hand, taking this section is the most important. It actually might cause the Romanian capitulation, which would be something. Um, I mean, a maximum command power. I'm going to go ahead and hit the planning bonus for this army here. Just for the ones that arrive, it'll make maybe a little bit of a difference. But mostly we have to pull the trigger. That's my timer. All right, I'm going to put a cut in here. We're going to pull the trigger on Romania. This time for sure. And probably just lose the game. But we'll, have, we'll give it the old college try. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.